With the shipment delay, we can't start prepping for tile like we planned, so we diverted our labor to start work on the exterior painting. We plan to paint the entire resort white, including all 22 villas. One of the things we have to get done before we do any interior finishing on the hotel block is the roof. That's not going to be fun to get those out. They're just disintegrating. Every screw head is just corroded beyond belief. Most of the metal has holes in it. It actually looks worse when you're up there because you see the holes on the flat surfaces. This entire metal roof needs to get replaced, as well as the roofs on at least six of the villas and the main building. There's a lot of roof here to replace. And I can't even imagine standing on that roof and removing it under this sun. Hey, Daddy, would you like some coconut juice? Of course I would. Hang on, we're coming down. Thank you, Jojo. Jo. Just... Yes, I. <laughs> now we got to go make some gully wash. Gully wash? What do you know about gully wash? <laughs> oh, we know about the gully wash already. <laughs> We want to get the roof on the hotel block done first so we can start the drywall and start on the finishes. How long do you think this will take? This is the most square footage out of everything. Yeah. So I'm hoping we can get this done in two weeks. Really? Yeah. That's it? That's it. Cam is a good friend of mine that owns an industrial roofing and commercial building company. Down here on the island, it's hard to find the materials, the skilled labor, the things we need to replace the roofs here properly. The roofs are the most important part of the building. If they're leaking, everything inside is at risk. Now, once we get more men down here, we're going to tackle the main. Okay. And then we're going to have a crew tackle the villas. Four weeks total, we're hoping for. Okay. This is the most important because I got to get, I got to get drywall up, got to get the work done in the hotel room. Of course. I mean, these guys were working ahead anyway because they don't leak. Right. But this was a roof that leaked. They'll also train some of our local guys on how to install this type of roof, because it's a great product for the conditions here. So we'll work together on this one, and I'll have a little peace of mind. Do, 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 do. Hello. I was just talking to Cam about the roof. He said it's going to take him two weeks to do that one building, and they're going to bring some more guys down. Another two weeks for the main building, drifts, the spa, villas, and the maintenance hut. Yeah, but when you look at our timing... Yeah? We're three months until we want to be open. I know, that's only two months left to finish everything inside once the roofs are on. And that's only the hotel block. Mm -hmm. And we haven't even started the clubhouse. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to get it. <clears throat> there's so many factors at play here. Obviously, there's the schedule, trying to get open while, you know, we're still in a season where people are going to travel. I feel confident if we push the opening a little bit. Do I feel confident? OK, confidence the wrong word. We have no more confidence left in us. Do you feel... It's a little negative. Do I want to open too early where we may not have the quality and the, the finish and the training and the staff ready for them? Absolutely not. If we push it by two months, we can have a soft opening when the season is slowing down, which is a good thing, because our staff can be trained and learn with less guests here, so that when the season ramps up again, our staff is good. Do I want to open late where we're completely prepared, but we've given up two or three months of revenue? No. Let me think about it. Think about it. Let me do some math. We have to find an answer somewhere in the middle that is going to satisfy all of these different requirements. And it's, it's challenging. There's a lot going on today. The ship finally arrived a few days ago with all the material Diallo needs, and he's prepped all the surfaces so the exterior tiling has begun. And Cam and his crew are making amazing progress on the roof of the hotel block. What's in this? It's just milk and gin. Just milk and gin? <laughs> <laughs> Archie Barr has been living on site here, I guess, for about 10 years. We met him last year when we first came to look at this resort. So it's great to chat with him and, and just connect and get a little bit of that history from him. How long exactly has the hotel been closed? July the 15th in 2011, until you guys came. Yeah, so over eight years. And eight years of nothing. At the beginning, all these um, all the villas. villas you see here, they weren't here. So just the hotel rooms and the main building? Right. That was it. So what was this place like when it was functioning as a hotel, full of people? 
The best times we used to have were when they had weddings. Yeah. They used to book groups and um, explore the island, scuba diving and stuff like that. Then we had some bicycles we used to rent, and they used to ride up across the bridge. Yeah. This island is so small, you know? The people just didn't come. They didn't really market it well enough to make it get off the ground. Then they changed managers. That didn't work. The truth is there have been a number of people that have attempted to bring this hotel back, and they've all been unsuccessful. But I'll tell you what, right now I look at what you guys have done. None of this, nothing was done from all the, all the people who came here. That's why I'm saying, you know, there's great hopes for this place. And we still, we still have a lot of work to do, man. I'll tell you the truth, I didn't think you would last. <laughs> We're in way too deep now to turn around. Cheers. We're here for good. This is a little weak. <laughs> <laughs> and this is going to work. It has to work. And, uh, well, we have bad weather today. So it's teeming rain. It's been raining for hours on end right now. My are so good. The pit in our stomach was the front few villas. Are you ready? No. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, there's a leak over there. Yeah, that's coming right off there. You can see off the third joist. Oh, there's another leak over here, Adam. This is coming through the wall. And on the hardwood. We started finishing some of the space, and we have not replaced the roofs yet. I've been in six villas, and all of them are leaking. So does that mean we have to replace the roofs times 22 of them? Potentially. I don't even know where to start. Storms don't last long when they do come through here. Usually, when we get a storm here, it just kind of passes over. But this one is pretty vicious. How is the damage in here? I don't see anything actively coming down. Well, the villas, the villas, we have some issues. Which villas? Not like, well, the front villas. There's like a few areas that is already dripping on the new hardwood and is actually coming in the windows. And in the two bedroom, Adam had said that it, the damage is worse on the second bedroom. That's not good news. Since we didn't see any leaks in the villas, we went ahead and started finishing the interiors. So they're just finished up on the hotel block now, but we have to get the roofers on this, those front six villas. We're going to have to go through everything and just repair what's leaking. What an ugly day. If we're now having to rip up finished work and redo it, that's time and money that we just don't have, and it means we don't have any guests staying at this hotel. I don't really know how long Brian and I can keep going like this without any revenue coming in from this property. 